kind of we start off with Stanford time on All right, that brings us up to 184 pounds. Dash Lamer. Montero for Stanford. The match. Oh, there's a snap down. The match score right now, the dual meet score, excuse me, dual meet score is 19 to 12 in favor of Stanford. And wizard position for Dash Lamer. And Montero. Still scrambling. No score yet. Dash Lamer. Still scrambling position. Has an inside grip on a near leg and far ankle scramble and now dash lamer gets put to his back and a takedown for three and two and now and dash lamer down towards the hips Lamer comes up, and so the score should be five, excuse me, four to one. Montero. Montero reaching with that left. I believe the score should be four to one, not five to one. The official clock has it at five to one. Five to one. Maybe they did call it three. Nope, that is, that's correct. Sorry, I'm thinking, uh, nice little high crotch. And he lifts, can't quite get it. There's another single leg, and he's got a seatbelt position. Let's see, oh, great job by Montero picking that far ankle. And now Montero into a scramble, covers the hips, and he has a seager locked up, crosses the ankles, and pops his head. Should be three. It'll be eight to one. Folks, I was stuck in 2022 with two point takedowns. Score is eight to one now. Montero uh, getting to work on top. Eight to one. With just under a minute left in the first period. There's a nice job on the reversal with the wrist roll. Goes full wrist roll. And reversal. That's it with a two point reversal. Brings it up to eight to three. And riding time clicking down now. Riding time not a factor so far. It was up at about 45 seconds, and there's 30 seconds going south right now, and 28 seconds left on the match clock in the first. 8 3 your score right now, 184 pounds. This is a must win if you're the Cal Poly Mustangs. Let's get one, let's get one. Dash Lammers set on the conventional side. Whistle blows, they start. And boot comes in for Dash. Dash will work the leg in on the right side. Twenty seconds Claw ride with the right now. Let's see if he's being sneaky and playing possum as his hips start to kind of fall a little bit. He's got a one, two. Three, four count. Wow, what a great turn towards the end. Brings the score up to eight to seven. And he is right back in this thing. Dash Lamer defers. And, <clears throat> excuse me, Montero chooses down. And I, you can't blame him, you have to. Riding time at two seconds as we go into the third second period excuse me that's a 15 point first period that's a heck of a first big tight waist there for dash lamer and he goes cross body ride into a roll and now dash lamer going across the body again digs an underhook if he goes back to that claw ride and again he kind of plays possum with it right he lets you think that you can step over but in actuality, that he's just going to roll you through for that. some backs. Awesome. Oh, wow. Nothing yet. There it is. He tries to roll him through on that. Does an excellent job of recovering his hips. And now, all of a sudden, Montero scrambling with the foot with his leg underneath. Montero hooking that leg. And now, Dash Lamer. Here's what Montero might not be aware of. He is just burning up some clock down there. But... Just about a minute left of the period. Great job. 
by Dash Lamer to start. Oh, he's getting creeping closer to a tilt position there. And now the riding time clock over one minute for Dash Lamer. 54 seconds left to go in the second period. You got to assume he's got to build up at least a minute and a half. Probably wants to ride him out, I'd assume. Half Nelson here, and he can roll that through too. Don't kid yourself. I wouldn't get too crafty if I were Montero. Great job into a cross body right again. And he goes. That is all everywhere. That is gnarly pressure. And oh, gets a foot over, two hands on the head, and gets an escape. So 15 seconds left. There's an escape by Montero, bringing the score up to nine to seven with 144 of riding time built up for Lamer. He's going to choose down. As we go into the third period. And Montero let's see what Montero does. Let's see Coach Pat Rucky and Aiden Hively, double H to those who know. In the corner, Montero. Hand. He's getting some air into his lungs. Dash of Lamer shaking the air up, shaking the arms out, getting some blood down into the arms. There's a chop on the right hand side, deep waist on the left. And Montero starting to get busy on the right, getting heavy on it. Shift position into a sit out here for Dash Lamer. This is a big point into a cross wrist. And he's got it. No score. Wow. Man, he was deep uh, underneath that, that body. Dash Lamer is in a bad way. 1.15 on the, on the riding time clock, clicking down ever so slowly. And now Dash Lamer in on a leg, but that's not going to help him. He's got a Turk leg in, does Montero. And 1.15 left in the third period. And that was a huge sequence on the return to position by Montero. Montero staying heavy. And Dash Lamer catches a nice little stalemate call. So it's got to go one then three for Lamer. An escape will not tie Montero goes to the ankle into a roll. And now we're back into a scramble. Both guys have a foot on the ground. And now Dashel loses the foot. 45 seconds left. Excellent work here by Ty Montero in the top position. What a stubborn son of a gun. 30 seconds remaining in the last period. And another breakdown. And that should about do it. 15 seconds left. And Ty Montero is going to come away with a victory. And that'll do it at 184 pounds. 97 coming up. Jared Priest against Stemmett.